Howdy guys, my name is Daryl, and today I'm gonna talk about the Yoast SEO Premium plugin versus just the free one. Now, the Premium Yoast SEO plugin does have some features, so before you decide to purchase it, I'm gonna talk all about what it can do for your website, all of the features it has, to decide if it's for you or not, okay? So generally, the Yoast SEO plugin is free, but this is the pro version, so I'm gonna go ahead and just walk through each and every one of these steps to let you know what all of them do, all right? So the first is the redirect manager, okay? Now basically what this does is that it redirects old URLs to new ones. So let me show you all an example of what this does. All right, so right here I actually deleted a page, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go ahead and add a new page and I'm just gonna delete it to show you all uh, what this plugin can do. So right here I'm gonna type in trashy page. Trashy <laughs> page right here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and publish it throw in some garbage content, and then I'm just going to publish it, and then we are going to just delete this page. All right, so I made the page. Now over here under pages, let's just say you wanna delete pages, because when you're developing websites, I know you delete a lot of pages, but the problem is those permalinks still exist on the internet, and they end up in 404 errors. So right here is the trashy page that we created, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just delete it. So right here, move to trash. All right, so right here it says Yoast SEO Premium detected that you moved a, po a post to the trash. You can either redirect it to another URL or make it serve a 410, 410 content deleted header. Now the difference between both of those is the 410 is basically letting Google know that this page is deleted. So they will not get a 404 error. Instead, they'll be redirected to a 410, which is saying this page was deleted. Now you can also redirect this to a different URL. So let's say you do like something with like a category or something like that, and you wanna redirect that page that you deleted to a specific part of your website. So if I click on redirect to URL, it's gonna say, okay, where do you want trashy page to go? So instead of going to trashy page, all the users will go to whatever URL you put right there. So this is actually probably one of the most important parts of the premium version, but let's go ahead and talk about what else they offer. So right here is the multiple focus keywords. Now, by default, the free version only will optimize for one keyword, okay? So going back over here, if I go to one of my posts right here, we are going to look at uh, what are the best clothes for girls. And we're gonna scroll down right here. And right here, instead of having just one keyword focus, we can focus multiple keywords to determine if that is, quote, SEO friendly. So this will basically help if you try to aim for multiple keywords instead of just one. So this is another good feature of the premium version. Next, we have the social previews. So did you guys know when you see like those posts on Facebook, how they look really ni nice and, and neat and they look clean? So this right here will actually show you what it looks like before you post it. So let me give you an example. Right here is one of my posts right here. So this is what are the best clothes for girls. Now I'm gonna go over here and go to share. So I can actually control what I want people to see when they share it. So right here, I can go ahead and select an image. So I'm just gonna select uh, this one right here. And then right here, we can go ahead and put a different title instead of what comes with on your page. So right here, I can put, welcome to the cutest, I don't know, cutest websites. And then right here, we'll put something like, this is the best website. So you can actually control it with the pro version. And when someone shares this content, this is what they're going to see, okay? So this is an example of the social previews. Now, internal linking. So for those of you who are new to SEO and have no idea about it, Google loves internal linking. Now, what is internal linking? So right here, I'm gonna go to my post right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and select one of these right here. All right, now if I go ahead and scroll down right here, I'm gonna keep scrolling down. You're gonna see right here, this is called Yoast internal linking. Now, Google loves it when you interlink articles together that have relevance because Google determines that this is relevant, that your website is optimized, etc. So right here, you can actually just go ahead and copy one of your posts instead of going over here and copying it, etc. And just go ahead and then just, you know, you can just go ahead and paste it right there. And there you go. So now you have the post right there. And interlinking articles is important for SEO. If you go to any blog, any big blog, 
you're always going to see different articles post to other parts of their website because it's just good for SEO and Google determines that it's a good practice of SEO, okay? So that is what article interlinking is. It is good. In, in fact, if you guys are big bloggers, you guys should be doing this because it makes the reader keep reading all of your website and it's actually good for SEO in Google's eyes, okay? And I spelled this wrong right here. And this one wrong right here. Shame on me. <laughs> Shame on me. Okay, so that is what interleading articles is. And the next one is insights, all right? So what are insights? Well, you know when you make a post, how do you determine what you're talking about? How does Google determine what you're talking about? So this is a post that I've currently made. And if I scroll down right here, it's gonna say insights. So these are the words that occur the most often in my current content. As an example, this is basically what Google thinks that we are talking about. So if you are talking about a certain subject and these appear more than basically your subject, you should basically rewrite your article. You know, it's good to get different perspectives on what is actually happening in your article. So let's say for example, I wanted to talk about like um, men's clothes, but on the, the insights, it talks about girls clothes. I am writing bad content. And right here it's saying, these are the words that are the most frequent, that happen the most often and have the most combinations. So getting this right here is good for SEO. It helps you write correctly. It helps you write efficiently, okay? So that is what the insights is on the pro version. And lastly, of course, you get the premium supports. So if you guys have problems with your plugin or you don't know what happens or if you install it and let's just say your website just stops working, I know that happens with certain plugins. The pro version, they will give you unlimited support form or I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, not support form. They will have um, unlimited uh, support for your plugin, your website, whatever, but it only regards to the plugin. Okay. So those are some of the features for the premium version. It depends if you're a heavy blogger, I would get it. I would, I would personally say you get it. If you're a business website that doesn't blog a lot, I'm going to be honest. I would not get it. I would not. But if you are into blogging and you're into SEO, it helps. It truly does help. There is a link in the description to purchase it. I'm hoping they will give me a discount. I've actually emailed Yoast, but they are a little slow on the affiliate department. So you can purchase it in the description and I'm hoping that I will have a coupon code in the future, guys. All right. So that's about it. It's a quick video. I just wanted to let you know what the pro version does and what it can do for your websites. So other than that, guys, I will see you all later.